In this video, I will show you 13 items with a low drop rate you can go farm right now and possibly make a lot of gold. These items are ordered from the least expensive to the most expensive. I tried choosing items with a wider range of drop rates and prices since I'm planning a part 2. The first item on this list is the Viperid Lettuce. This material is used for crafting in 9.2 Caesareth Mortis. At the time of recording, it is still Shadowlands and the price is around 5 to 8,000 gold. In Dragonflight and beyond, the price is only going to go up because people are and always will be interested in collecting mounts and pets. The Viperid Lettuce only drops from a single mob, the Desert Viperid, at 1% drop rate. You can't farm these without downtime, so you can try changing phases or just killing all of them when you are online in the zone. The first of all three dice toys in this video is the Worn Troll Dice, pickpocketed from Qualdir mobs at Hrothgar's Landing in Northrend. You, of course, need a rogue character to pickpocket. The drop rate is 1.3% and the price is 20 to 30,000 gold. From my experience, these sell fairly quickly since not everyone who wants to collect toys has a rogue character or the patience to get them. By the way, the macro on the screen is very useful, it's just a mouse over pickpocket macro and makes the process much faster. Continuing with another class locked item, we have the Sealed Tome of the Lost Legion. It drops only for Warlocks at a 2% chance from Isle of Thunder Rares. This item changes the visual of your spells as a Warlock and is highly sought after. The best strategy is to leave a Warlock character on Isle of Thunder and check the spawn points of the Rares to see if any are up and hope for the drop. The price is around 20 to 30,000 gold. Number 4 is a popular toy, the Big Red Raygun. It drops from Dr. Weevil on Alcas Island in Dust Below Marsh at a 3% drop rate. Dr. Weevil has a 5 to 8 minute respawn timer, so you can leave your character sitting at the spawn point with WoW in the background. With a 3% chance, it should take you roughly 3 hours to get a drop, but it of course depends on luck. If you manage to get a drop, you can expect to make around 30 to 50,000 gold. Number 5 is the second of three dice toys, the Loaded Gnomish Dice. This toy can be pickpocketed by rogues from Schnott's infantrymen in Uldum. I would recommend killing them after pickpocketing because they can also naturally drop the dice. Farming this can be quite frustrating, but it is very rewarding to get a drop you can sell fairly quickly for 50 to 80,000 gold. Again, using the macro on the screen will increase your efficiency. Next up on the list is the Tome of Polymorph Porcupine, which makes your polymorph take the form of a porcupine. The farm is very straightforward, but you need to be a mage. The item drops from porcupines in Pandaria. The drop rate is 0.1 to 0.3%, really good for the price range of 60 to 80,000 gold. In Jade Forest, we are interested in Glade and Smoky Porcupines. In Kunlai Summit, we are looking for Lowland and Razor Quill Porcupines. At number 7 we have the last of the three dice toys, the Decahedral Dwarven Dice. Just like the previous two, this one is also pickpocketed by rogues. The best spot is pickpocketing Onslaught mobs in Dragonblight for a 0.3 to 0.7% chance to get a drop. The price is around 70 to 90,000 gold. And for the last time I'm also mentioning the mouse over pickpocket macro which is on the screen. For number 8, we are staying in Dragonblight, but we have to switch characters. Tome of Polymorph Polar Bear Cub drops to mages from Arctic Grizzlies at a 0.5% chance. Your expected profit is 75 to 90,000 gold. Now we are moving on to the rarer, bigger ticket items. Number 9 has to be one of my favorite items to farm, the Better Tilt. It is essentially transmog since you sell a quest giving item that rewards sought after transmog pieces. It drops in the dungeon pit of Saron, the route is on your screen. We are trying to get as many adds as possible to one place, kill them, loot them, hope for a drop, leave the dungeon, reset and repeat. The drop rates vary from mob to mob but the range is from 0.02 to 0.1%. The price of the battered hilt is between 60 to 130,000 gold. Number 10 is the infamous Chromatic Sword. The reason this item is so sought after is the amount of patience required to actually get it. It drops from a rare called Scale Belly at a 0.8% chance. The catch is that the respawn timer is, well, hours. Sometimes 4, sometimes 8 or more. Hard to exactly pinpoint the range, but it is very hard to even get a kill unless you are camping the spot on a dead server. 
The price, according to the Undermine Journal, is between 100 to 250,000 gold, but there aren't many available, so if you find a buyer, you might be able to dictate a higher price. Next up is a mount. The Great Sea Ray added in Battle for Azeroth and fished from any saltwater in the expansion zones. This item helped me reach my first ever million in World of Warcraft at the beginning of BFA when I sold the item for about half a million gold. You do not need a high fishing skill at all, the chance is around 0.05% and you can expect to make 250 to 300,000 gold from selling one of these. Number 12 is, surprisingly, a Shadowlands item. Technique Mark of the Regal Dreadbat is an inscription recipe that teaches you how to make a glyph for druids. This glyph transforms your druid flying form to a dreadbat. Not very special, I know, but there are many factors contributing to the rareness of this item. It came out in Shadowlands, arguably a period in WoW's lifetime where a lot of players stopped playing for at least some time. Since it is current content, people haven't had much time to farm it yet, Inscription isn't a very popular profession, so people aren't farming it for themselves. It isn't a very known item in the community unless you are interested in farming rare items. And of course, the drop rate is 0.04% from Eve Dweller Bats in Revendreth. It's hard to guess the actual price since there is only 18 of them in Europe available, but it is definitely in hundreds of thousands of gold right now. Might go up or down in the future. The last item in today's video is in another recipe. Pattern Volcanic Legs is an incredibly rare and expensive item that drops from Fire God Brutes in Burning Steps at a 0.08% drop chance. You can farm these solo or in a group, and if you are patient or lucky enough to get a drop, you have the decision to either sell the pattern for around 1 million gold or to learn it and craft Volcanic Legs and sell those for a lower profit but of course you have an unlimited amount of items. Bear in mind, selling items like this one takes a long time and a lot of reposting, so I would not recommend spending weeks farming two or three items and hoping to sell them in a few days. Variety is key to making gold with rare items like transmog pets, toys or mounts. I hope you enjoyed this video about rare and expensive items. Stay tuned for part two coming in the near future. Good luck with achieving your gold farming goals and thank you for watching my video.